Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I do hear that some of our community friends and family are feeling under the weather, not feeling well at all. A lot of sick people. With the weather changing and fluctuating back and forth, that's not surprising. Along with the mess that we have in our air, the chemicals from the chemtrails and stuff like that. It's affecting a lot of people. So you're in my prayers. I hope all of you get to feeling better and hate seeing anybody not feeling well. I hear it in their voices, a lot of them, and just heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. So to all of you, I hope you get back up and running and that you can fight off this bug or whatever it is that's causing you to feel bad. I wanted to get on here and share on, on the light note some interesting information. You know, years ago, I heard it said that the human body, body chemistry, changes every seven years to some degree. And uh, I have found that to be true. I, r I really think it is true. Anyway, uh, I think that's with every creature. Maybe that's why they say that we evolve. You know, we've all been worried about the GMO foods and all of that started with corn. Monsanto corn. Well, they were trying to get rid of a little corn worm. And uh, the corn worm was really, really a bad little root worm, I think is what it's called, a corn root worm. And it's really uh, voracious. It destroyed a lot of crops back between 2009, 2010, I think it was. Somewhere in there. Anyway, Monsanto's genetically modified or genetically uh, yeah, modified organism, corn, GMO corn, was designed to destroy that little bug. And it did. It certainly did. That first year wiped them out. Second year, maybe they had a little bit less that it killed. Third year, even more that it didn't kill. Then today we get the news that this little corn-eating worm has evolved to feed on GMO corn that is designed to kill it. It's evolved. And GMO, Monsanto's corn, doesn't kill it anymore. Isn't that amazing? That a little creature, little tiny worm, can evolve and uh, become resilient to these poisons. I had to stop and ask myself if we're any less than a worm. Do you think that we're any less important or less capable than a worm? I find it interesting. You know, I'm always saying that we need to pay attention to what we think and what we speak. Because what we think and what we speak is what we become. And quite frankly, I don't think we're any less than a worm. The human body is an amazing being. Absolutely amazing. We're self-healers. We heal ourselves. 
That's amazing. It certainly is. It's not the band-aid that makes the wound heal. It's your body. It's your body. So, do you suppose that we humans are going to evolve past the worry of GMOs? Are we any less capable than a little worm? Food for thought. I'd love to be a mouse in one of Monsanto's big meetings over the worm. I'll put the link down below. I love you all. Great big hugs. And I pray that all of you get better. I have some news about praying, too. Very interesting. Confirmation that prayers get answered. They certainly do. I'm not talking religion. Not at all. I'm talking about what we speak. Certainly am. Love you guys. I'll catch you all later. And I'll tell you about the power of prayer. Until then, great big hugs. <laughs>